Hello and welcome to Hemisphere Cars. My name is Juan Cobos and I am your host. We do videos on cars, trucks, jeeps, equipment, tractors, and other devices. I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get to it. So I have removed the uh, deck, the lawnmower tractor deck, pulled it out because the brake pads that stop the blades from spinning when you uh, turn it off are all worn out. I don't know if you can see that, but the blades just keep spinning uh, for too long of a time. They don't stop as quickly as they do when the brake is working properly. So I ordered a couple of uh, the pads because these pads are a lot cheaper than buying this whole unit. The whole unit is like $35 and these were, I forget, I'll have to check, but I think it was like $8 each. Uh, and all you have to do is drill out these rivets right here and then re-rivet the new one in. So that's what I'm going to do today. And as usual, I have my uh, magnetic tray here to put all the clips in, which uh, keeps everything organized and ready to reinstall. I have my safety glasses on, and this looks about the right size, I don't know. Okay, that's not going too well. I may have to take this off uh, and use my drill press. Okay, so this is a 3 8 Let's see if uh, it'll come right off or I have to hold on to it. There's something underneath it, I don't know. And apparently something's moving below there. Okay, I'll have to check that out. I may have to uh, move this deck and uh, put a wrench on the uh, nut below. Okay, so this bolt is uh, half inch and on the other side it's also half inch so I'm going to uh, remove it now Okay, got the nut off on the other end. There's a spring there, I have to remember that. And just sliding that off. Okay, and you can see the rivets there. So Things just worn down. I don't know why it's like that. It's just a little weird. Okay, I'm going to go into uh, the shop and use the drill press and drill this out. Well, the uh, chuck for my drill press disappeared, so I'm using a drill on the on the vise here. That came out really easy. Apparently they were aluminum rivets. The drill bit I'm using is a uh, 5 seconds. So just to let you know, make it 
easier, you know, which one to pick out. That worked just fine. The uh, pad I'm using is this one right here. So, can you see that? Hope that focuses. So, you see that online, you can order it. I'll try to put the link in below somewhere. Okay, I found a couple of rivets that should work. See how this goes. That's one. Probably should have had my uh, glasses on. That's two. All right. So there it is. Looks like it's barely on there, but it's good enough, I guess. Hopefully. All right, I'm going to reinstall this brake. Take a few minutes. Yeah, it's tight in there. I don't know why, but this brake pad is a little high. Tried bending it down earlier. Guess that will do it for that one. Okay. I think I can do the other one, perhaps, let's see, I think I can do it on the deck. All right, okay, once again I have a drill with 5 30 seconds of drill bit, let's see if I can get in here, yeah that should work, don't know me. You can see this thing's ground down from the pulley that it breaks against. Okay, one. 
Okay, it's in. I pushed it down on the wall over here. Get a better angle. Looks like it's going in fine. There we go. So, little tip. You can press down here with your foot. Also, give it a little extra with your hand over here. And it gives you the right angle for using one of these rivet, rivet guns. So, done. Just have to reinstall the deck. You've seen that before on my other videos. So, uh, you don't have to see it again. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Particularly, I need subscribers. I'm not making any money on these videos. It would be nice if I got a few dollars from uh, these Amazon associates for linking to products. So, help me out, please. And I uh, hope you're having a good day. Thank you. I just like to say one last thing about this installation. I could have pressed this down. There we go. So I press this down, and then it makes it so I can so I can drill out the rivets and uh, rivet it again. So it would be a much easier installation. You don't have to take anything apart, except you know removing the deck from underneath the tractor, and then you can get in here, drill and then rivet the pad, brake pad right back on. So I learned something in this video. I hope you did too. Okay, here it is back together. I'm going to start it and just check the brake for the blade. You can see through a hole over here how fast it stops. nice and fast for a change because it's been spinning since the brake pad was all worn out and that was really dangerous in case you flip over or something happens I didn't exactly show uh, the, the blade spinning and stopping so I'm going to take this off, which is not something you should really run this without the cover on, but just for the demonstration purposes. I'll start up the uh, tractor here and uh, put it in blade mode. So it did stop it. I would like to see it stop it a little faster, but uh, it's better than continuing just to spin for 20 seconds or whatever. So it did it in what, two, three seconds, something like that. All right, so I know you wanted to see how that worked. So there you go. So. I think you need some more information on this. Let's see how this operates, how it breaks when uh, in an emergency you would fall off the seat. So I'm going to, I'm sitting on the seat right now and uh, then I'll stand up off it and we'll see how fast the blade stops.
so that took uh, that was like three seconds and it wasn't the greatest something like that I didn't exactly time it all right let's see what happens when I simply turn off the engine few seconds I certainly wish this worked a little faster but that's the best I could get it to work